Enemies to the west. Hey, it's King McCain. So if you've read the books, you know that Euron is a really interesting character with so much to his history, where he's been, his powers, what he's doing in the future, and so he's really important to the story. And in Game of Thrones, we've barely had him. Now from the trailer and what we could see happening for Season 7, he's definitely going to be a very big character. He was one of the major five people pointed out by Cersei. So in this video, I'm going to discuss what he's done so far since we last saw him at the King's Moot, to this point now, starting Season 7, and why he is the biggest threat to Westeros. Build me a thousand ships, and I will give you this world. Now to find out what Euron's been doing since we last saw him in the start of season seven, we have to look at the other characters and what they did in the last episode of season six. So Varys, all the ships and men of Dawn and the Reach, traveled to Marine from Westeros, and by the time season seven starts, we'll have traveled probably back to Westeros. This means a lot of time has passed between the time we last saw characters like Euron in Westeros and the start of season seven. This would mean that probably by now, when season seven starts, Euron would have built his big ass fleet. Now we all know that Euron promised to give them the realm via marriage and the promise of ships to Danny. But this entire plan was ruined and stolen by Theon and Yara when they went to her first. So this puts him in a tricky spot because he can't side with the North because they hate him and they hate the North. Can't side with the Vale because the Vale is now sided with the North. Can't side with the Reach or the Dawn because Reach and the Dawn are both with Danny. So what does that leave them? The Riverlands with Walder Frey and the Westerlands with Cersei. Now the interesting thing was is that Cersei in this trailer said enemies to the west and it showed us Euron. So it seems like that Cersei views Euron and the Iron Islands as enemies. So what's going to change that's going to make Cersei believe that Euron is her ally? That's right, ship attack. It appears from the trailer and backed up evidence from leaked photos that Euron is going to attack a portion of Danny's fleet which are probably mainly made up by Dorna's ships and Theon's Iron Island ships. Now why do I say Dorna's ships? Now we know that Theon and Yara were on the same ship leaving to go to Westeros. And Theon's ship was definitely one of the ones that was attacked. So it's very likely that Yara is on board somewhere and from this little weird snippet we got in the trailer, it looks like Ilaria and her are getting a bit of action. So it's possible they're both on the same ship, or at least they're on the same part of the fleet as the Greyjoys. So, so far we know that in the period between the two seasons, he's built up his fleet, attacked a portion of Danny's fleet where Euron, probably some of the Dornish and Yara are on, and he's most likely going to try and make a peace with Cersei and join together to try and rule the realm together. So what do we know about Euron as a character? We know that he's an incredibly dangerous person, someone who is willing to kinsley for power, choose any side that's going to let him win. He wants to bring back the old way of reaping and raving of the island islands. He's been a pirate that kills and captures people for a long time. And if we use his character from the books, he's really messed up. So with his character knowledge, the actions we know he's done and what we think he's going to do, what we see the future of Euron going to be in season seven. And why is he? the most dangerous threat to all of Westeros. That's not including the White Walkers, but, but, by the way. Now, Euron has a big fleet, and he clearly knows how to use it from the way he's already winning battles from what we see in the trailer. Now, even with that, he is alone at the moment, and without Cersei's help, he really could be a tiny impact on Westeros. But with Cersei getting crazy and crazier every single season, every single episode, with his enemies coming around from every side, and someone comes out of nowhere with a giant fleet willing to work with her, She's probably going to take it, especially if she's allowed to evict her personal revenge upon someone. Now, do we know any characters that possibly could be in the area of somewhere that Euron attacks and wins a fight, could possibly get captured, possibly brought to Cersei, someone that Cersei really hates from taking, you know, maybe a daughter of... Or something like that. You know where I'm going with this. Yes, Alari will be the chip he uses to buy an alliance with Cersei, along with his... Big cock! <laughs> Now we know that Euron wants to bring back the old way of reaping and raving. Something that was very terrible in everyone that wasn't Iron Islander. They were complete menace on the land and something that really needed to be removed. Though most people with alliances like that wouldn't let just some random person just go around killing tons of the small folk, being a complete ruthless 
horrible person, but Cersei has the mindset for that entirely. She wouldn't care about how cruel or evil he is. She gives people to Kaiban to kill and test with alive. She's completely willing to side with the dark side if it gives her more power, troops, or personal revenge. She is the most horrible person he could possibly side with. The most vindictive sides of her, the most vindictive sides of him, will lead to him being able to have free reign over all the territories that she wants to attack, reigning and burning and raping everywhere across the Reach, the North, the Vale, Dawn, anything he can possibly get his tentacles on. So to wrap this up, I think Euron will be the main enemy slash focus of Season 7, apart from an end part going into the White Walkers, ready for Season 8. I don't see Euron as a character lasting too much into Season 8, I feel like he's the Season 7 focus character. It's very possible that they could do a homage to how Aegon the Conqueror stopped the ring of Harren the Black at Harrenhal with its dragons. It could be a really cool way to end it off if he takes Harrenhal. He's sitting there, he's like ruining the Riverlands and a whole bunch of the realm and stuff, and Danny comes in with her dragons and just burns him alive in a castle of some sort. That would be a really way to kind of end that off again, showing that cycle of history like we have with Danny arriving in Dragonstone. And I think that the defeat of Euron would be a really good way to bring Cersei to heal and start talking and negotiating what she can do for the realm and with them. Instead of having them have to defeat Cersei's army or kill her to try and stop her reign at the moment, they just kill Euron and then she can kind of come to the table and that's when they start talking about the White Walkers and the greater threat. Because I definitely see Cersei as a season eight character. But hey, this is all huge speculation at this point. There's only a few things we can really tell from the actual trailer, stuff like that we know for sure. So if you have any ideas or theories about what new things can happen with Euron, the realm, and stuff in Season 7 going into Season 8, make sure to put it in the comments section below and we'll have a discussion talking about this amazing topic. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to support this channel, please support our sponsor, Audible. Now with season 7 rolling around, a lot of you guys will want to reread the books or read it for the first time so you can get way more knowledge into the universe. Now a really good way to do this a lot faster with a really easy laid back way is with audiobooks. So if you go to audibletrial.com slash king, you can get a free audiobook of your choice to trial it out, see if it's a medium you like, and you also get a 30 day free trial of the service which gives you discounts and other audiobooks and stuff. So I recommend this highly. Plus it super supports us and allows us to put out more videos for you guys because i really want to put out like two three videos every single week leading up to the game of thrones season and the way i can do that is with your guys support now i could just post one video every week or one video every week and a half but i don't like doing that i like to really engage with you guys and put out way more content so please support this or if you haven't already subscribe to the channel because that always helps hey it's king mckay